For as long as I can remember, music has been very important in my life. I didn't just love listening and reacting to it, I was fascinated by the process of making music. From a very young age, I was really attracted to musical instruments and the people playing them. I would sit and watch a musician play their instrument with a sense of great wonder and almost greed. I had this strong desire to copy them, to do what they were doing, to make music happen with my own hands. The first present I ever remember receiving in my life was an electric keyboard. Probably stuck with me because of the joy I felt when I first saw it. It was a present from my parents and I was probably about six years old. Immediately I started experimenting, sometimes making up my own melodies but mostly copying my favorite ones and playing by ear. I never got super good at playing the keyboard or the piano and I never took lessons, but what I really wanted to do was to play the guitar. For many years I lived with this burning desire to learn to play the guitar, but I didn't even have a guitar until my sophomore year in college. I used my savings to buy this beautiful classical guitar, this one right here, and it was the first really valuable thing I ever got from my own pocket. This was about 12 years ago. I took a few one credit guitar classes in college and my instructor was Egypt's most well-known guitar virtuoso and immediately, finally, it was clear that I had found my instrument. Despite being 18 or 19 years old and having never played the guitar before and having never gotten any musical education whatsoever, I picked it up extremely fast and my instructor was convinced that I must have some kind of special talent to be able to learn so quickly. But I practiced for hours every single day. Time stopped. I loved it. In fact, I loved it so much that I'll admit my grades in some of my other courses suffered a little bit. Just a little bit. But it also quickly became clear to me that I had a limitation when it came to classical music. It was physically impossible for me to learn to read and play music at the same time. It just wasn't possible with my eyesight. To learn a new piece, my instructor would have to show me how to play it bit by bit, and I had to memorize the piece and rely on muscle memory to recall it later. After a while, I couldn't really hold that many pieces in my memory at once, and I couldn't read the music to remind myself how to play them. It takes a lot of regular practice to learn how to read music tablature or music sheets proficiently, and my eyesight made this task so tedious that I could not stick with it. Also, college would be over soon and I would be off to grad school far away from my instructor's help. But I still wanted to play music, of course, so I started to play a different style. Classical music is very technical and is all about solo performing, like the piece at the beginning of this video, or like this. Instead, I started to see if I could just learn to play songs that I love, and to see if maybe I could actually learn to play and sing at the same time. It took a bit of work, but reading tabs online was much easier on my eyes than trying to read sheet music, and there were always YouTube tutorials, and playing songs was much less technical than playing classical music. Also, my audience now, instead of having to be quiet and listen to me, could actually engage more with my performance, could sing along, and it was just a 
completely different and new experience when it came to performing. In grad school, I played and sang on stage for the first time in my life. And I collaborated with amazingly talented friends and colleagues, many of whom had a much more formal musical education than I did. And these collaborations are some of my most treasured experiences in life. We experimented with fusing different kinds of music together from various parts of the world. I was introduced to new styles of music I'd never heard before. It was really amazing. Do I miss classical music? Of course I do. It was very satisfying to be able to deliver a perfect classical performance, and it required a lot of skill and discipline. I even got to perform at the Cairo Opera House a couple of times, which was really cool. But at least for me, performing songs for an audience is more exhilarating and emotional, and maybe more accessible to most audiences. Maybe if I weren't visually impaired, or if I were more talented at playing by ear, or if I had a better, deeper understanding of musical theory and of my instrument, I would have stuck with classical music. But honestly, I'm satisfied with just being good enough to have fun with it. And I occasionally do open mics and other small performances. That's good enough for me, especially since I don't do it professionally anyway. And I've got a ton of other things going on in my life. Like this channel! Hey, subscribe, why don't you? I am very impressed by blind musicians who can play amazingly complex music without having to read it. It's a shame we can't all be that talented. If you are a blind or visually impaired individual who plays an instrument, I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment. Many of my little music video recordings can be found on my other personal channel. I'll leave the link to that below if you'd like to check it out. There are also many little clips on my Instagram account. Links also below. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check me out on Patreon. See you soon, and keep the music playing. I wanna walk the same roads as everybody else Through the trees and past the gates Getting high on heavenly breezes Making new friends along the way I won't ask much of nobody I'm just here to sing along And make my mistakes look gracious And learn some lessons from my wrongs As the sun shines on Houses and not mine, and the clouds paint the skies all gray and it takes away the summertime. Somehow the sun keeps shining upon you while I struggle to get mine. A little light never hurt nobody, send out your brave sun.